Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And uh, there's not really a specific reason that I'm starting here, but I just really enjoy the viewing so much right over here. It all looks so beautiful but quickly before we get started i would love to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel instant gaming because at instant gaming you can get a great discount on many of your most favorite games like of course planet zoo and all planet zoo packs but also like the sims farming simulator jurassic world evolution city skylines and so many other awesome games and by buying via the website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel i will make sure to put the link in the description description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. And I'm just so enjoying franchise mode at the moment and I'm just so happy that you guys are enjoying it as much as I do as well. Oh, you're going to eat food. Oh, it's good to see that this enrichment item does work because there seems to be a, a, a little bug where some of the enrichment items do not work and the keepers are like throwing in food at the keeper's gate and stuff. So yeah. Just to make sure that uh, we do not get any issues with our animals potentially dying or, or starving to death because of that. Yeah, I put down, hello little Adonis. I put down some of these feeders in some habitats just to be sure because they are still working that the keepers are able to, uh, to give some food to these little ones. Oh! Adonis is 5.2 years old. Isn't that almost... Oh, that means it's almost time for Adonis to grow up. This one is also 5.2 years old. So Zuri is going to be a little girlfriend for a little Adonis. So, uh, oh gosh, that also means that your parents are about to go soon. I don't want to, but Adonis is too cute. So I, I feel like, oh, look at this. Isn't this just, just beautiful? Oh my goodness. I'm just like blown away of the beauty here with these guys. But yeah, Adonis is about to grow up, which means that Adonis is going to take over very soon. And then the parents are gonna go, and then this little one, little Zuri, is hopefully going to produce some babies with Adonis. That will be just super busy. Look at how she runs. <laughs> it's so adorable. Man, how rhinos run. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. Now let's have a quick look right over here at our new cassowary habitat, because I think we already got some little chicks around here. I think they're called chicks, right? For a castle. Look! <laughs> a little wiggle. Hello, cutie! Oh, you're so pretty! With how many are you in here? At uh, Studbook, you have one sibling. You have a little, little brother. Tidham and Durham. Oh, that's so cute! Welcome to our zoo! Hopefully this is going to bring in some more guests on this side. Can you do the little jump again for me? <laughs> because as of right now, like I, I do so... I did see... We we're gonna go to the, to, to the ticket prizes. I did see some people uh, being like, Oh yeah, I, I can help you with some tips of, of how to, to uh, get some more money and and actually like what i was trying to do is like reduce my amount of income like not have it so fast <laughs> we, we are really at some point right now that we, we need to keep earning some money but also not too much and the western lowland gorillas are definitely very expensive and uh what do you know you guys did vote for another animal <laughs> on the community wall and guess what? It was elephants, and elephants are also super expensive. So uh, this, uh, this is going to be the moment of truth. 
if we are able to survive, because、um, our money is going down pretty rapidly at this point. Is there anything? Oh, that's right. We actually hired tons of staff. We we raised their salaries a lot.、Uh, so I I do need to pay attention to that. Like I do really feel like we should keep all the keepers. Although we have. Why do we have two keepers that are not assigned to a certain area? So I, I kind of feel like all the work zones do have their own keeper, right? There's nothing without. So I'm sorry, but I feel like I just need to fire you guys for now. Oh, exhibits! We need to look into exhibits very soon. Why do we have so many educators? I actually. Like how many talking points do we have? I I don't think it's even. Oh wow, we actually have quite enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they are all like in a different month, so we actually do not really need that many educators, honestly. So I think I'm going to fire these three again, and now I'm gonna stop with firing because. <laughs> <laughs> also, it should not also be like, oh yeah, now we're getting rich again because we did fire so many、uh, staff members. Hopefully, this is this is going to help us to at least start earning a little bit more money. The ticket prices are raised, but I actually want to check if the guests are complaining about that. So I'm going to pause this for just a second. We're going to our ugly entrance, like seriously, still ugly entrance. A、uh, zoo ticket price is great, so they find it great. So if I just raise it with just one dollar, maybe yeah. Well, I'm not expecting people to like turn around with that one dollar. I don't think so. Exhibits because we have、uh, we have quite some animals in these temporary exhibits. Still need to、uh, start that reptile house at some point. We have oh goodness, Amber is pregnant. Shall we just yes? Let's go for these two males because I think every time that they grow up, the the youngest one are underneath there. So we're going to move these two to the training center. We are going to move. Uh oh, that's an elderly. Yes. Okay. Let's just move these two to the training center as well. Like these are oh God, look, <laughs> buff adders. Oh gosh! So we're going to remove these as well. But oh no, that is not what I wanted. But these are also going to bring in a little bit of money, and I'm actually really happy with that because that is definitely something that we need right now. Because else I can't even start the habitat for our elephants. So we need to keep a female. Let's let's keep the youngest ones. We can select all of these. Quick trade. It's not that much, seven thousand, but I take it. <laughs> It's at least something. Are there donate? Yes. Okay, we have donation boxes right over here. That is not like earning too much money. Hopefully, our otters will be doing well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but this otter just took that box away. Oh, oh, oh! That's interesting. So the box just reset for him. <laughs> that was really funny. The box that <laughs> that otter was just stealing their box. Oh, absolutely love this game so much. It's so funny. Um, so have a have a quick look here at the gorillas because the gorillas should be having. No stress issues anymore. Like I did not get any message anymore. So what did we do again the last time? Hi. <laughs> the last time, like I was a little bit worried that I had to put down a lot of glass and stuff around this habitat because of the、uh, gorillas being stressed. But we did not add like the silent signs or like do not disturb signs, and we did add like the.、Um, The the ambiance speakers. So, I think right now everything should be good. Bokito is not looking super happy. Are you going to do? Oh look at that! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Look how angry he looks! Oh man, that's so amazing. 
Oh, I never saw that animation before. But Kita was really like, hey, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Absolutely love this. <laughs> but we're definitely going to build like a different uh, area here as well. I, I have the feeling that we should go for the chimpanzees. I think that is going to be cool to have like this, this uh, primates, primates monkey world for the, like, the chimpanzees as well and the gorillas. May maybe another species, but I feel like I want to just like keep African animals in this, this, this region. Like the more I think of it, the more I feel like we should just go for some, some African animals in here. So let's have a quick look at our Siamangs before we go and start building that. Can we? Do we have money? Money is going up, but it's going slow. Ooh, which makes me a little bit worried though about the Indian elephant habitat. We're going to do it anyways. We are going to risk it. And maybe we do need to fire a little bit more staff. But if this is the right balance, then, then we should be good. Uh, oh, look, they're actually outside. Oh, I'm happy with that. Climbing up there. And there's this little one trying to sing along. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Oh, I love it when they're going to sit down. With these cute little arms. Long arms. <laughs> so adorable. Oh, look at that one. Swinging and playing. That is looking so good. Absolutely love it. So our money is going up a tiny little bit. Ha let's have a quick look right over here at the entrance again. Just to see what these guests say. Zuka ticket price is great. Are you guys still saying it's great? All right, I'm just going to put this up again and just so take it prize is great, right? Okay, we're just going to to keep it like this. We did lose a little bit of money, so I feel like we just want to fire just one more staff member. I'm um, I'm I'm going to fire two mechanics. I'm not sure if I should have done that. Maybe should have gone for security guard instead. Although it's only five security guards. Caretakers, we have quite some caretakers as well, but they do not really cost that much. I think for now, these two, it will earn us like 4,000 or save us 4,000, I should say. But, but still, like we have to wait and see what the elephants are going to do. So where are we going to put the elephants right now? Because we have... Uh, the zoo right over here, the zoo entrance. So we have Asian area on this side. So it's definitely going to be here in the back. And it's going to be humongous. So we, we definitely need some space. So it's a good thing that we do not have to squeeze it in somewhere. And uh, <sighs> wish me luck because it might not be as detailed as all the other habitats for in the beginning. But uh, we have to wait and see about that.
So, first of all, if you hear anything different from my voice, that is because I'm recovering from COVID, but I feel good enough to start recording again. But yeah, if you're wondering, <laughs> that is why I sound different than like the first half of this video. And also, uh, well, kinda is also the reason why this habitat is not completely finished yet, but also <laughs> money is, is definitely a thing. So first of all, let me just show you guys this. Like the first part of this video I recorded before <laughs> I became sick and uh, uh, now I'm, I'm recovering. So I'm doing fine, but uh, yeah, that is why there is, is quite some time in between uh, 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 the build and, and recording in this last part. But man, I'm already super happy with this part of the elephant habitat. Now, this is definitely inspired of the older section of the artist habitat for the uh, Asian elephants that they have right over there. They do not have a water in there, uh, but obviously I need some water. So this is going to change because as even though like this, this habitat is big enough for these elephants already. So we do not have any issues here regarding space. I do want to build the new part of the artist habitat as well because they have like this really cool path going th basically through the water area. Like it, it looks really cool. I will make sure to put some uh, video footage uh, so you guys know what I mean. And I just really want to challenge myself to see if I'm like not perfectly recreating it, but definitely want to use that water area for their like newer habitat. I think that's going to look so extremely cool. So for now, this habitat is big enough. Uh, we are earning some money, but I honestly, I had to take like first a loan of like, oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. There are so many animals uh, <laughs> growing up right now. But I had to take loans because I just was not able to finish this habitat. I took a 5k loan and a 20k loan. Now the 20k one is already uh, repaid. I, I took the 20k one to build these shops. These are the same shops that you have at the uh, Fennec Fox habitat. Not entirely sure if I will keep these. I might change the style of these shops a little bit later on in the future. The same toilet building right over here as well. And I, I think it just looks pretty nice to have like this, this more bigger open area right over here. So, so the guests can come all the way from the uh, Bengal tiger habitat right over here, which is hopefully not going to bring us uh, too much bottlenecks at this point anymore because we now have more of a reason for guests to continue their journey and continue their walk. And there's a, just like this big open space right over here. And this path will probably be extended all the way to the backside. And uh, as I said, like all the way going through the water and stuff. I, I think that's going to be really cool. But yeah, we, we need to pay attention to our money at this point. I did change a little bit right over here with these cute Simon statues. I think, I think even though they're not hanging in trees or anything like that, I think they actually work really cute here on these rocks and uh, the gas go in here and there's another one right over here and then they uh, have the Simangs right over here. So I think this area definitely is coming along pretty nicely at this point even though it's not entirely finished yet. I do, I, I think I did not mention this in the first part. Yes, I think it's Nisha. Now I do want to check before I say something really silly because I, I don't think that I, I, I like I had from the community challenge one elephant, which was a golden rating. I think it's Nisha. Yeah. And, and then we have a golden rated mill here as well. But the rest are, is just what I could find on the market, I guess. But this one was from the community challenge. Like I'm pretty active at this point with just a simple breeding zoo to get uh, all these rewards from the community challenge. I really do enjoy it. Like you got like these really cute albino animals from it like obviously i'm not using these animals too often because i always forget <laughs> but i'm definitely going to try and see if i will be building new habitats in the future with the franchise series to use these animals as well because it's pretty cool and like i i try to get like the the highest ranking with these community challenges so i got like these golden uh stats so that is that is really cute so that's just a side note so one of the elephants 
is from one of the community challenges. I probably did like a year or two ago, but as I said, like I never really looked at that list before. There are a lot of animals growing up right now. The Bengal tigers are growing up as well. So all three cubs. Oh God, did they already? Oh no, I don't think so. Uh, we can still keep their parents, right? So uh, yes, okay. We can definitely keep their parents. So the rest, so all, the, all their cubs will be put up for adoption. These beautiful white ones. Like, oh man, I don't want you guys to go, but... Hopefully, your parents are going to uh, give us some more white Bengal tiger cubs. That will be just so freaking amazing. So yeah, they are going uh, to the training center pretty soon. Now, the fennec fox is growing up, which is not really an issue. The white rhinos are going to be an issue. Are, did they already grow up? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Gosh. This is, uh, do we have enough space for it? No, we can definitely not keep more of them. Uh, so we have Adonis. Oh no, Adonis is injured. Is this Adonis? Oh, it's not. You're just sleeping. Okay, that was just a coincidence. So where is Adonis? Adonis, you're injured. Oh gosh. Oh, look at this. You're bleeding. Oh no, I'm so sorry. But, uh, okay, Adonis is going to stay. Together with Zuri, which also grew up. So Zuri and Adonis are hopefully going to uh, bring in the next offspring. And the other two we are going to put up for adoption in the training center. So let's make sure of that. Now in this habitat, we also have the Thompson gazelle. But this poor thing is all, all by herself. So we, we probably need to make sure that we got like a little, uh, little boyfriend for you. I mean, uh, you, yes, I, I think that is a good one. So they're super, uh, super cheap. So it's really not an issue. I'm going to adopt one. Now I do wonder if I look at the Zoopedia, like three. Okay. So we definitely need to have another female for, for this thompson gazelle to be happy and healthy we can go for a young one with some better stats than this <laughs> maybe maybe not well we can get one from the frontier zoo so we have two females now and one male so we can put you all in this habitat right now and then everything should be good in here Man, I really love the color scheme of these guys. They're so pretty. But uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> oh god, poor Adonis also has uh, has marks here. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's so sad. Oh, we can call a vet for you. Of course, why did I not think of that? Right, let's call a vet for Adonis. Oh, I also... I had so many money issues while I was building the... Uh, uh, elephant habitat so I had to like fire some uh, some staff as well so I did fire I think it was one keeper one educator and one mechanic just because that was the only I, I could actually potentially yeah I'm just going to do that I'm just going to fire one more right over here like I, I really thought that that we were good with earning money and then you just notice like you get in like the gorillas and the elephants and uh, things become a lot harder right away. Uh, talking about the elephants, do we need to do any research for them? Ah, I already put one of the vets onto that, so that is a good thing. Other than that, all the other animals that we have in our zoo already have are, are like researched completely i do wonder zoo ticket prize is great so maybe i could just raise just one more time is there like are people complaining no it's it's still great so i i think i'm just going to uh live with that right now let's have a quick look here at the uh, fennec fox habitat because they're growing up and i just want to make sure that oh my goodness we already have two little ones in here infertile Rafik, why are you infertile is that because you 
grew up that I gave you contraceptives. Why are you infertile? Can I see that right over here? Uh, reduced. Is that reduced? Why are you infertile? Is that because... Oh. I cannot remember anything else. Does that mean Ruffy can't like enough children? <laughs> Or is that just because, no, you're, you're a recent birth. That makes total sense for the female. But seeing this for the male, it's it's confusing me a little bit. Uh, but let's just keep an eye out for that. Like, is that going to change? Or is, is he just infertile for the rest of his life now? I, I really have no idea. Oh, gosh, you look so unhappy. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, can I help you? But you're fired. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that really was not my intention to make you so unhappy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, you're not going to fix that. Did I actually not? Like, like I, I remember I was playing around a little bit with the tasks and stuff for, for the staff, but I'm not entirely sure. If I change that for the mechanics as well, like having one only fixing things, for example. No, I think we're good. I actually did fire one of the keepers again from the uh, uh, Shrivalsky's horse. And then noticed that I only had the one keeper that was going to keep the habitat clean. So they were almost starving to death. Oh, the gosh, they're still, they're again starving to death urgently assigned I, I did give them this water uh, a water pump because water pipe because um, well the keeper has to fill these these other water things these water bowls all the time and I, I was like you know what that's just not really the smartest thing to do other than that I think we should be good as soon as the keeper now comes in like it's not super far away you, you might already be... Oh, there you go. You're running. You're going to bring in some food. I think this is going to be uh, completely fine at some point. Um, at least I hope. I think, like, removing these water balls is definitely going to help a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Uh, I just want to check real quick if, like, everything is all right in this habitat. Like... Uh, we have Chino being an adult. Oh gosh, we have so many males, but they are all still babies. So that's going to be all right. But we definitely need to keep an eye on that for now because uh, that is definitely going to be a thing. As soon as they grow up, we need to make sure that some of these horses will be uh, put up for adoption. Now I am thinking uh, in, in the next episode to actually build a few more of these exhibits because I think that is going to help us a little bit with earning a little bit more money with the offspring. So I think that might be a good choice to do. Oh, right. Okay. Our Bengal tigers are about to grow up or are growing up right now. That is definitely, let's pause this for just a bit. Definitely a thing. So they should all be growing up right now, but Ryan is the first one. So, Ryan, yes, we're going to put all these up for adoption. You are also about to grow up. Maybe I put one or two in the training center that it's taking a little tiny bit longer. Okay, there you go. You are now also grown up and you are also now grown up. So, well, I feel sad that they are going, but I am pretty sure that you guys are going to bring us some more hopefully beautiful white offspring one more thing like are the elephants happy enough so we can get some offspring with them are you going to mate oh oh it might be actually <gasps> isn't that awesome for the last scene of our episode. Look how cute. Oh, look at them. They're so freaking beautiful, aren't they? Look how huge this male is. 
Absolutely fantastic. Was that the sign? Yes. <laughs> Sneha is getting some offspring. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, you do not have that good stats though. Amol is the male. Oh, we already. Oh, 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 Amol is doing a great job here. Oh gosh, well, that does mean that in the next episode, we probably do need to expand this <laughs> habitat. I have no idea how much base we would need for so much more. Like, it could be enough, but hey, we just really, really want to expand this habitat with the uh, newer area as well. That's going to be just super amazing. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what do you guys all think of this new Indian elephant habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already and leave something nice in the comments down below. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.